What's up, party members? Just the party eight here. Welcome back for more Super Metroid. In the last episode, we got a lot more things in Met in Norfair. We beat the boss. We got the map data. Um, like I said, we took down Krokomar, the boss. We got the gravel beam, as you can see. And now we've got, l and thanks to that, we got a lot more collectibles. In this episode, we're gonna do like one more thing before heading back to Norfair. Uh, excuse me, back to Brent Star Blah is in this area as you can see so yeah I walked all the way to this uh, part over here because now we can do this so yeah let's get all this all right so here is a missile pack that you can get so right now yep and there's nothing else in this room so we could just get out of here Alright, so instead of running around Brinstar like a like an idiot, I'm actually gonna go and uh, look around off screen and see what we can actually do right now with the grapple beam and which one which uh, what we cannot do. So right, so that's what we're gonna do. Because otherwise they're gonna be like otherwise this walkthrough definitely definitely is going to be in the twenty parts. So yeah. So I'm gonna run around Brinstar and see if I can find anything that it's, we can do right now. So see you guys in just a moment. Alright, we're back in this area right here. Uh, we normally cannot do this until we get a power which which is gonna take a while to get. But right now I took a little I did a little sequence breaking, I did some I did some bomb jumping and I'm I'm actually in here. So we can actually do this. There we go. And get in the missile pack. So yeah, we don't have to go to this area anymore, which is in uh crates hideout, by the way, so yeah. Uh hello, oh there we go. So yeah, that's the first one I'm gonna table down. Alright, so that is missile pack number one. The next thing coming up right now, so see you guys in just a moment once again. Okay, we're back in this area right here. And right here, we're gonna get a brand new item, uh, I believe. I think we can do it right now. If not, screw this game. Um, so we can do this right now. Watch out for the fireflies once again. Watch out for these jerks. It kind of reminds me of uh, the, the monsters from the movie Tremors. Have you seen that movie? Anyway, swing, swingity, swingity. Which gets us to the next item. Which is a very useful item. A very useful item. Which is... The X-Ray Scope. And that fits the final slots in the item selection, as you can see. So what does this thing? Well... This time we don't no longer have to guess. Uh, excuse me. You need to press, press an LTA button. Yeah, you can see where is the secret and where is no secret. It is definitely the, one of the most useful items in this entire game. Uh... Hello? Oh, there you go. So yeah, that is 100%. We collected all the main things. Well, we still need to collect one more suit. And one more uh, type of beam. We just said uh, the plasma beam and uh, the gravity suits, which we'll go to a little bit later. But at least the main items were done. Alright. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go back to this room and then I'm gonna cut away. So, get this, go for this. You know what? I don't even care if I get hit. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's out of the list. So, we're gonna go, I'm gonna cut away to another thing that we can do right now. So, see you guys in just a moment once again. Alright, back in this room right here, where we, uh, uh under, uh, the area where we fought Spore Spawn. 
I think there's something we can do right now. Yes, we can. We can also do this, by the way, is go up and go up. And there we go. And thanks to the wave beam, we can shoot through walls. So that's definitely a plus, of course. And this grants us... Another energy tank. Yay, more health. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. I think. Yes, I can still count. Good. Alright, so that's one thing out of the way. So let's go cut away to the next one. What we can do right now. Okay, well, it looks like there's uh, nothing else we can do in this area. So we've done like, a couple of things. So that's at least a good thing. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of cunning in this episode, but that's okay. Once we get the next power, uh, once we get the next suit, we can do a lot more things. So yeah. Alright, come on, die. So yeah, that's it for Brinstar for now and for Norfair. So now we can actually move on to the next area, which is by the right of Criteria towards... Wait, I'm gonna show you that. Can I show it now? Yes. It's a go to the right towards the wrecked ship, which is the smallest area in the game next to Criteria. But it doesn't mean that it's easy. Uh, get in there, Samus. It's kind of like the uh, scary area of the game. I heard some theories about what the wreck ship actually is, but I'm going to talk about that once we get to it. Or at least talk a little bit more about it. Alright, so let's go. Do I want to save right now? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's save. Okay. Come on, get in there. As you can see, we got a lot more stuff. We're over, ha uh, almost halfway, I think. One more, and then we're halfway through the missiles. We almost got half the uh, super missiles, and we're over half the power bombs. So we're doing okay. Uh, let's see, we can, can we do something in this area? No, we cannot. There is nothing in this area. Alright, so now we can just go to the right. And this music in the background is actually one of my favorite songs in the game. We're gonna be quiet for a few seconds. It sounds so heroic. I love it. This definitely uh, fits Samus a lot. Well, this song is called Samus Galactic Warrior, so yeah. Alright, so here we go. Get this. I'm on the missile tank. There are a lot of missile uh, packs in this area. So yeah, be prepared. This is also one of the main reasons why I want the grapple beam, because you cannot go through the water. As you can see, because it's very bad controls. It's so freaking slow. And we don't like it. And oh, I think it's. I'm an impatient bastard, I know, so that was kind of my fault. Alright, so the, the thing about these things right here, these uh, bricks right here, they're. If you. I think it will break after a few. after a while. If you. Yeah, see, they break after a few seconds, so yeah. You gotta be careful with that. Now there's a missile pack below me, but I think we need the gravity suit for that. Or can you do it right now? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, actually I think we still can. Oh, we cannot bomb jump, okay. Wait, can I do this then?
Yes, I can. Sequence break. Well, that was a very easy sequence break, but hey. We got another missile pack. Things are actually going in my favor this time. Nice. Shouldn't say it out loud, of course. Okay, there are two more missile packs in this area right here, but we cannot get them just yet. You guys need to get inside the wrecked ship. Alright, come on, get out of there. Thank you. Alright, woohoo! Actually, now that I think about it, I think it's recommended that you save uh, by the ship, by your ship, because, well, you'll see in a few moments. There we go. Don't fall into the water, otherwise you have to do this again. And here we go. Welcome to the wrecked ship. With very ominous music. Now this is the reason why you want to save at the ship, because like, hey, you can slave right here. But there's no power in the, in the, in this area, so we cannot save here. So that's why I recommend it. Say, yeah, you want to save by the ship, because if you die and you haven't saved by the ship, it's gonna be horrible and painful. And ghosts, a ghost. Okay, what we need to do now is actually go right away to the boss of this area, because then we can do everything in this area. I think this is the main way to go. Yes, I think it is. I could just use the power bomb, but no, I'm just gonna do it like this. All right, get this. Up, oh, excuse me. All right, I don't think we can get the map data for this level yet, or can we? Let's see. Oh yes, we can. Okay. Oh no, there's no power. I just said that. Alright, watch out for these. Well, they don't do anything just yet, so yeah. Alright, we here we have the boss door. Alright, get these. There we go. Now time for probably... For as many people consider the hardest boss in this entire game. Especially for people who play this for the first time. This is... A ghost. Okay, no. Is this Fantoon? The reason why this is so tough is because these some of these attacks are almost impossible to avoid. And if you have low energy... Well... You're gonna die pretty easily. <laughs> Another thing that you really need to watch out for in this for this battle is do not use super missiles against this guy. This is the only boss where you do not want to use super missiles. Reason why I say that is if you use a super missile and hit him, you will unleash unavoidable waves of blue f uh, flames, which you cannot avoid every single time and it takes much longer to kill rather than regular missiles and I missed dang it I don't find this boss too bad to be honest but for first time players who don't know that you don't want to use super missiles I guess it's de definitely the hardest boss I find one a boss a little bit harder than this than this uh, one, but hey, that's my opinion. Alright, it's almost dead. As you can see, I already lost quite a bit of my health. Okay, come on, ow. Where are you? Come on, up here. And, wow, that's it, okay. I still lost three bits of my health. And 
that's it for you. Some people say it's actually the brain that you see in uh, the Prince Star stage from Super Smash Bros. Melee. I don't know if that's true or not, but it looks like it looks like Fantoon in that stage. Anyway, now that that's done, the power is back on. Alright, so we're gonna do a few more things before ending this off. Like I said, this is the smallest area in the game. I'm gonna show you that because we're going to get the map data. And, oh, screw you, robot. Yeah, these robots don't do anything. You can shoot them and you will push them forward or backwards, at least. That's the thing that you can do. And as you can see, it's not too big. It's also not too bad for area. At least compared to the next area we're gonna tackle down. Ugh. All right, let's get. I need to go back up. Because there's nothing else we can do in this area. All right, here we go. There is something. There's a super missile pack in this area. There we go. And here it is. Oh, watch out for these electric thingies. They will hurt you. And there we go, another missile pack. And don't go up there just yet, because there's even more super missiles in this area. Go to the right, and there's another secret door. Here we have these things, which are very annoying. Alright, let's see what we can do in this. Aha! I see you. There we go. And another super missile. This is going by fast. And actually these things do shoot you. Oh, didn't even notice that. Or it's just another ghost. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, here we go. There is one missile pack above me. Or at least I think it is. Yes, it is! Aha, there's a lot of secret paths, uh, passageways, as you can see. And ow. And okay, this is getting kind of annoying. Well, at least we got more missiles. And one last thing we need to get, we're gonna get another energy tank in this area. Oh god, am I about, um, oh no, no. No, 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 I'm not about to die. I'm not going to die. I refuse to die. You know what, let's save first. Let's save one times. Because I don't want to do it this. Ever, I don't want to do everything again. And then let's get the missile pack. Or excuse me, the energy tank. Okay, you need to go to this area. And oh, we cannot do this yet. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm gonna end this episode right now. I guess then. So I guess we can go inside this room. So I guess we're gonna say next time on Super Metroid. We're gonna go and explore the wreck ship even more and maybe even finish it because it's like I said, it's very small. So see you guys next time.